Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today we got another smartwatch we're looking at. And now this has a lot of cool features, guys. It does have a built-in SIM card where you can go ahead and, and plug in your SIM. You can make phone calls. You can take it on the go with you. Have your phone number, essentially. It also has Android 10, and this allows you to basically download any app that you want. As far as the specification for this particular one, the model is the Optimus 2. Brand is Copset. The color on this is black. It is sporting an Android 10.7. CPU is an MTK6762. PAR 2822. As far as the memory, we're looking at 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. The display size is 1.6 inch. This is an IPS display with a 400 by 400 at resolution. 1260 milliamp hour battery. It does have a 13 megapixel rotatable camera. The strap is a TPU 24 millimeter ceramic bezel 4G LTE. So very excited about this one. So the case itself looks pretty standard. Uh, it does have a nice little finish to it. Let's go ahead and open it up. And the first thing I'm looking at is like, this thing is humongous. Um, Let's go ahead and get the accessories out. So we have a mini flathead screwdriver. This is gonna help you open the, the back of the device just to get the SIM card in. We also have a USB charging cable. Uh, this should allow you to essentially plug this into your, your computer. That way you can pull content directly from the watch. You have another standard USB cable. This is gonna be micro USB, USB-A. So in this packet, it looks like we have some goodies. So we have a screen protector. It does have a link to their website. Quick start guide is gonna tell you how to set everything up, how everything works, so definitely worth taking a look. All right, so here's the watch, and uh, let's go ahead and get it out. All right, so it looks like we have the charge and cradle right here. You can see the contacts right here, and um, this is for the watch to essentially dock on. Uh, so this is where the actual micro USB comes in the hand, so you can essentially plug this into here and then with this you can either use this to charge the watch or plug it into your computer now both of these essentially is going to do the same job so this is going to be a little bit more portable i think and this is the full dock so maybe you can put this by your bedside or something take this on the go with you now another thing i wanted to mention this little guy right here yes you can connect the micro usb to it and it does have a charging indicator right there but this is a charger guys this has a built-in battery didn't specify what size but this has a built-in battery and all you need to do is just Snap it on and it starts charging. Like this is a, a standalone charger. If you're on the go on the bind, you don't really need to have to always connect to power. Just make sure this guy's charged up. If you're running low on battery, snap it on and you're all set. I think that is a, a fantastic idea. This is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Um, the band is gonna be made of rubber it is extremely flexible so this is going to be a comfortable fit so pretty cool so right here is the camera and you can see that there is also a flash on the camera so that's pretty amazing now this part does flip up so it flips up that way and the idea is that if you have this on your wrist you can flip the camera up to do a video call or something and then you can flip it back down just to take normal video. So can't wait to test that out. Underneath you can see it's a carbon fiber material. You do have the contacts right there for charging as well as docking to your PC. You have the heart rate monitors right here. Let's go ahead and peel it off. All right, so you can see the, the monitor right there. You have the SIM tray right here where you can go ahead and put in your SIM. And it looks like right here you have a microphone and the bands are removable. So quick release, you can go ahead and just take it off. You see how easy that was. So besides that, we have two buttons on the side. So let's go ahead and get it set up and start testing this thing out. All right, guys, so first thing you have two buttons on the side of this device. Now this essentially is the back button and this one will take you home or it powers the device on. Now this is the main screen that you're gonna see when it power up the device. However, if you want to change the screen just do a long press and you can go ahead and slide through you can see this is like a transformer which is a little bit different they also do have some traditional analog looking watch faces so a lot of different options there and you can go to the store and download a different watch face it all depends what you're into guys so this also does have the little edges on the corner so you kind of know that this is a three o'clock position six so it makes it easier and it, and it does complement the analog watch faces 
As far as the gestures and getting into your different settings, guys, if you swipe from the bottom, you can see my steps for the day. Swipe to your music, and you can swipe to see the weather. And look like it's updating. Now, if you swipe from the top, that's going to bring into your settings, guys. So you have your brightness. And how the brightness works, each time you tap it, it will change the brightness level. So I keep tapping. It's going to keep brightening it up a little bit. And right there, it's at 100%. We have the quiet mode, you have the hand with the screen on, which basically means you raise the watch and it will go ahead and turn the screen on. So let me go ahead and leave that on. You also have your data, your airplane mode, your Bluetooth connection, as well as your Wi-Fi. And you can see that I am currently connected to Wi-Fi. Swipe more, you got an Android mode, which brings it into a lighter mode. And you have a cleaning option built into the menu. So all you need to do here is just press this. And what it'll do is just clear the RAM so it will kill all the apps running in the background. Essentially just making your device fast again. Swipe to the right, you're gonna get into the main apps in your device and this is really smooth guys. I was really impressed with how smooth everything else. So let's go through some of the main apps and we'll get into the Google Play Store and all that here in a second. So up top we have our phones, we have our contacts, SMS, we have our settings. Go to our settings, we have our network, we have our connected device, apps notifications, battery percentage, display sleep. So if we wanted to change the time for that, let's go ahead and we'll go down. See that the option to lift to wake notification on screen. So you do have a couple options there. You have your sound, your storage, your network, your location, your Google services, system languages, and about this watch. So you do have your heart rate. Let me go ahead and test this out. So you can see I'm at 81 beats per minute. And what it's doing is monitoring now. So you can see it just went up to 82, 83, and that will keep monitoring if you leave and where it is. So you have your blood oxygen level. Let's try that out as well. Please wear your watch and keep still. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. So it looks like my blood oxygen level is between a 97 and a 99. Not sure if that's good or bad. Drop it in the comment, let me know. We also have our sleep, our breathing training. We have a browser built in. Let's go ahead and try that out. All right, so it brings you to the home page of the watch. So here we are on Yahoo and you can see that comes up pretty good. You have the back button right here, can pull up videos. You can see there's a video playing right there. And uh, we're gonna try out YouTube here in a little bit, but. So this essentially just gives you that true web experience. So um, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and go back. So next we have our camera and the good thing about this camera is that it does flip upward. So if you wanna take a video like this, you can go ahead and do so, or you can flip it down to take a, a video like this when you have it on your wrist. So let's go ahead and try the camera out. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a lot clearer than I anticipated, guys. So there's my PlayStation 4 headset. Let me go ahead and take a picture. And that actually, <laughs> that actually had the flash on it. Here's a picture of the camera. Let's go ahead and try that out. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Um, so let me go over some of the settings on the camera and uh, we'll do a couple of test videos as well. So we can go ahead and flip the camera upside down. So in some situations, maybe like this and you want to flip it, um, which puts the top and the bottom essentially, you can go ahead and do so. So I, I think that's a good addition. You also have the option to turn the flash on and off and obviously we had it on, but you do have the option to turn it off there. Let's go ahead and set it to automatic. You do have the camera and video option. So if you want to take a video, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is a test video with the new Copset watch. Uh, this is my video. We test an audio as well. Testing the quality just to see how good this looks. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is a test video with the new Copset watch. Uh, this is my video. We test an audio as well. Testing the quality just to see how good this looks. So the cool thing about that is that the camera works as a, a camera, so you can take pictures, you can take a video, but it also works as a camera for your, your application. So if you have Zoom or you have Teams or anything installed on this, which you can install and use, you can go ahead and use that camera. And next is your gallery, and the gallery is gonna basically show everything that you have, um, pictures and your photos that you just took. Hi guys, just a quick test video. It's a busy day out here, but just out on the balcony, just wanted to see what the picture quality is like.
Also wanted to test the audio. So drop your thoughts in the comments, let me know. We have our calendar, we have our alarm clock, music, we have a voice recorder. We also have a file manager, weather. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that working. All right, so it does show the, the current temperature. It looked like it did update. We have our fitness area. All right, so we can do outdoor run, outdoor walk, run, indoor, outdoor bike, play basketball. So. A lot of different options. It looks like you can go ahead and add your custom workout, which I think is a, is a good addition. Desktop settings, let's go into that and see what's in there. Here we dial selector, your menu style. You can also switch styles. So we do have a full Google Play Store in here. And I did go ahead and sign in. I downloaded Pluto TV. I downloaded Plex. I downloaded YouTube. So uh, this is legit. Um, this is the real deal. Full Google Play Store installed. Do have Google Maps on here. As you guys can see, this is full Google Maps, so you can put any addresses, you can do directions on here. Um, and remember that this does take a SIM card. So, so if you're off your network, you will need to have some way of, of transferring data and getting their location. Optimization, we have our watch face store. So click on that. You have different faces that you can download. And I believe these are free. These are part of the the ecosystem so let's go ahead and we'll just try to download this one all right so it is downloaded this one is 72 kilobytes and just like that it's installed we have our app store now this is another store that's included i think this is an in-house store it has a couple apps in here but really no need if you have the full google play store so you can see you have a stopwatch there you have a calculator flashlight <laughs> Also have Facebook, WhatsApp. So some of those recommended apps that, that you might want to use. This also has your face unlock. So you can go ahead and set it up to where it uses your face to unlock the device. So let's go ahead and test that out. So after this function is enabled, the password lock needs to be open at the same time to assist the face recognition when the password lock is open. Let me go ahead and put in the password. We'll just put an M. You guys ever find this watch? And know that it's mine you have my password all right enter your face all right so let me go ahead and flip the camera and get that locked in so let's go ahead and test it out so obviously the camera is going to need to be flipped up like this but if you go ahead and click on it and you try to open it it's gonna say hey you need a pin when I turn it to myself you can see it says unlock success and now you can go ahead and get into the interface. It seems like it works, but it's not going to be as secure as something like your face ID with, with your Apple devices. All right, YouTube. I do have YouTube downloaded. I also have Pluto TV and I'm amazed that this actually works on this watch. Uh, make it full screen here. You can skip the ad at the bottom. All right, let me go. Back to another PlayStation tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to show you. Go ahead and go back. So, YouTube obviously works. It works well. And um, this is just one of those things that I like to nerd out on. YouTube's there. We also have Pluto TV, which um, I did test earlier. And this worked just like it would on your Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so here's your TV guide for Pluto TV. <laughs> you can see that works with no problems. Um, so you guys get the idea. The streaming apps are going to work just like they would on your streaming device. I also have the calculator. I have Plex, which I had to install Plex. So if you guys want to take Plex on the road with you, maybe on an airplane or something, um, can go ahead and get to your content that way as well. You shouldn't have any issues just getting the content that you want. So before we wrap it up, and there is an app that connects to this, I just wanted to say that this is pretty comfortable, guys. It is a bigger watch. Um, it doesn't look as weird as, as you might feel when you put it on at first. Um, obviously, if you have small wrists, this might 
look a little bit different. I'm pretty impressed with how it's performing, the, the different options that it offers, and um, the camera functions, even though some of this might be a little bit gimmicky. But I find it pretty cool in the bands and everything. The removal bands makes this easier to digest. I believe I reviewed a, a watch similar to this in the past, and the band were kind of thick, so it was harder or not as comfortable as this one is. But I can see myself wearing this for long periods of time. Alright guys, so I just showed you how to install the SIM card. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. You use the screwdriver, you just pop it out, slide it back in, restart the device, and it should connect to the network. So we'll go ahead and test it out once it gets on. Alright, so let's just slide down. We're going to check it. Alright, so you can see everything starting to load, saying that it's loading configuration. Alright, data is now turned on. Now I can essentially turn off the Wi-Fi and I should be able to use this as a standalone device, guys. Alright, let's get started. So let's go ahead and we just make sure this is working. So let's go ahead and we just swipe over. Let's just try to call T-Mobile. See that's working let me go ahead and put my number in and give it a shot of course i'll go ahead and blur that out so you guys can see that that worked with no issues uh let's go ahead and we'll try the data let's just go ahead and we'll run something on youtube so this is running off 4g essentially so lte and that's playing pretty good this works perfectly well as a standalone device and, and I'll probably use it like that for a little while. So the app for this device is called Geofit or Jaofit is G-A-O-F-I-T. Uh, they do have a QR code in the booklet where you can go ahead and download it or you can just search it in the Google Play Store. So I do have it connected guys. Uh, you do have to sign up with an email. So once you sign up for the account, you'll go to your watch, swipe down and you'll hit this icon right here and it will go ahead and pull up a QR code and that way you can go ahead and connect it with your phone. So that was pretty straightforward. So the app is pretty cool as well, guys. Uh, you do have your, your main device right here. So if you click on it, it's gonna give you some information about it. You have the option to set silent mode, notice, you brighten your screen, you set your targets, your heart measurement, and um, you do have the option to, to unbind it as well. If you go back to your main screen, it does have my information in there, all right? So it gives me my weight, everything else. You can go to your store, Now in the store, you can go ahead and download watch faces and install them directly. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. So this one, I wanted to download and install. All right, so switching. If you look on the watch right now, it is loading. And you can see the new watch face is on there. You guys already know that from the watch, if you wanted to change the face, which this one is horrible, all you need to do is do a long press. Then you can go ahead and swipe to the face that you want to go ahead and install. Also, if you go all the way to the end, guys, you do have the option to add your photo. So if I wanted to add photo or take a picture from the camera, I can go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and take a picture. And let's say I just wanted to take a picture of my headphones. All right, so that's going to be my new watch face. I'm going to click check mark. I'm going to go ahead and set the size. And hit the check. And there it is, that's my new watch face, it's a digital watch. This one doesn't work, but you guys get the idea. Some people like to put their your logo or their face or whatever the case is, but um, this gives you a lot of options as far as just setting and customizing whatever face you wanna use. So let me know what you think. I will be dropping a link in the description. Uh, this watch is pretty cool. Like I said, if you have a small wrist, this might not work for you, but love the fact that they do have the option where you can go ahead and just slide the wristbands off then you can put this in your pocket, you can use it as a tablet, you can use it as a Plex media player, whatever you wanted to do. And remember that you do have the option to add your Bluetooth device, you can add headphones, you can connect different phones. This The app does work for iOS as well as Android. And I, I think this is a great addition. I, I definitely am gonna play with this some more. I think this is uh, 
one of those things if you're a tech guy if you're a geek like i am this is something that that definitely draws your interest so let me know what you guys think of this let me know what you think of the price let me know what you think of the concept if you have any additional questions drop them in the comments i will go ahead and test it out for you that's it for this video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one